You know, guys, on a cheat day, we said Saturdays for the boys. But it turns out that Sunday for the boys! Yeah! Yeah, we're making all sorts of food. Yeah. Sundays for the boys. Yeah, we're what? Food prep it up. We're gonna food, food prep. prep we're gonna food prep pretty hard right now. We're gonna food prep so hard you don't even know what's gonna. You don't even know how to food prep, okay? Baby boy. Sundays for the boys too, right? I know every day used to be for the boys when I used to live here, but we'll just have to settle for Saturday and Sunday, okay? For the boys. Um. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna show you how we do. I know we showed you um, full day of eating, but uh, show you full ten hours. We're gonna, since Christopher's prep was so over the top, beautiful. We're gonna both. Well, I'm basically he's gonna food, he's gonna food prep, and I'm just gonna like, be like, all right, that looks pretty good. I'll do that too. But we're gonna food prep for the week. Um, I'm fine if I don't food prep because I have time in the day to kind of cook as I go. But Jennifer is also on the move, like Christopher, and she has a six pack bag too. Uh, and it's really hard for her to stay on top of the diet when she doesn't have food ready to go, ready to eat. So we're gonna food prep for myself and Jennifer and Christopher all in one video. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Look at all these. Look at all these groceries. This is a pro tip, okay? Carabiner and grocery bags makes the haul a little bit easier. But we got a, this is about, this is for three people. We have about basically $300 of food. So, lots of vegetables, we'll show you it all. Lots of vegetables, lots of protons and electrons, and uh, I mean, what? <laughs> but, we just came back from the gym, so I need a shower, so. Chia! Yeah. You showering first? You can go shower first. Bro. Okay, I'm gonna shower first. Hey, mom! I came back! Your favorite son's here. No big deal. Buddy, buddy. Okay, guys, step one. What we got here, we just got the grill roaring. You can get this puppy real hot. But we're going to show you what Chris does inside to prepare the meat. Do you have anything to say to the viewers? Like, hey, what's up, guys? You guys are freaking awesome. Thanks for the support. I'm thinking about doing vlogging full time. Uh, let me know down in the comment section if you want to see that. Okay, bye. So what we got here is all these breasts. No, I think it's upstairs. We got all these breasts, right? First of all, buy one, get one free. So, you know, you got to take the deal. But Chris has uh, been pounding his own meat. <laughs> get it? Because he's single. But he's been pounding his chicken meat. Uh, why do you do that, Chris? Anyways. So if you look at the chicken breast here. You no, know, the chicken good. breast, okay? See, it's not even all the right. way through, so when you cook it, it's like this part will be dry as hell and gross. Yeah, yeah nasty. When you're eating it, and then this part will be like kind of wet and creepy. Right, so right. You do, you, do you chew differently if it's not dry? Because you chew really loud no matter what, so. <laughs> but, you know, we got a saran wrap for sanitary reasons, you know, because you want to stay uh, healthy. You don't want to get that salmonella. <laughs> no, you want to like, yeah, you're like, well, I eat really healthy, but I have salmonella. <laughs> Yeah, I have some in them. I'm going to die, so it doesn't even matter. Okay, so we're going to lay all this meat out, and then we're going to, sh we're going to show you some poundage. We're going to show you how we pound our meat. Yeah. <laughs> okay, once you spread out your meat, <sighs> then you get another layer of saran. Yeah, you don't want fucking chicken particles flying across the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be walking on the kitchen floor. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's a piece of breast. Why is that one so white? I don't know. Anyways, saran wrap this beach. Step number three, technically. Yeah, this is what I do. I like to pound my meat. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is why when you go to a restaurant, like the chicken breast is so big. You're yeah. Like, How do they get chicken breast? So like, and I pound it. This is kind of awkward. I'm beating your meat right now. Oh. That's nasty, yo. It also it also cooks it evenly, but also it tenderizes it. 
You want that tender meat, girl? Huh, girl? I like your chicken meat tender. Oh, sorry, I got a little Oh. If you want to get Christian Grey on it, then you go the spiked side. <laughs> All right. Okay. And and one more, and we're good. Boom. And then just like that, you got it all seasoned up, ready for the grill. And we're gonna sear that mother real good. Real good. What's your estimated time of cook, Chris? Quick. Quick? Really? Yeah. Like. You don't want to think about it. Is you don't want to overcook it because, you know, once once it rests, like fifteen minutes. Once maybe. it rests a little bit. Maybe not even ten minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna cook these. Baby boy, do you want a breast? I don't know if I'm gonna fit. You want a breast, buddy? Oh yeah, I might have a couple, couple, couple cycles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Close her up. So chicken's on the grill. Huh? Chicken's on the grill. So now we're doing swap potatoes. This is like most of our carbohydrate source. So we're gonna put all these sweet potatoes in the sink, wash them off, chop them up, and bake them. Yeah. Yeah, that looks like a lot of sweet potatoes. This thing is really big, too. This, that's a lot of sweet potatoes. I wonder how many of this. Well, three bags times, or three pounds times one, two, three, three four, five, six. Oh, that's like my tip. It's like curved to the left. Um, that's a lot of, that's a lot of sweet potatoes. Probably like 20 pounds plus. Go for oh, my God, your fingertips are so close, Chris. Pass me out a little bit. Pro tip for if you're cutting stuff, okay, this is what you do, guys. Or you want to put your fingernails down, right? So you don't touch, you don't want to come near the tips, and then you guide the knife across your knuckles. Mm -hmm. use, the, use the knife. I use your knuckles as guiders. So if anything, you just cut off your knuckles, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Look at all these sweet potatoes. Look at all these sweet potatoes. Plus then we have all these over here. This, this is, I think this is more than 20 pounds of sweet potatoes. We may or may not be drinking these summer shandies, but, you know? I don't care. Chicken run number one, you get this chicken done, and then, yeah. What do you do, you slice this and put it in your packages first? No. Or you wait? It's usually the last thing I put in. Really? Yeah. What are <laughs> one of Chris's meals is harvest, oh wait, what's it called? Harvest what? Harvest gods? Healthy, oh, ancient grains. Healthy harvest. Healthy harvest, ancient grains. Uh, spaghetti. What is this? Angel hair? I think it's just spaghetti. Is this angel hair? <laughs> Are these the hairs of the angel? Um, do you do you spray it and then put it in the pan, or you pan it first? I spray it and then put it in the pan. I toss it and spray. Oh, okay. Okay. So let's, let's just watch what Chris does. We're just gonna follow his lead. He puts a couple in here. Like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Step one. Hey, Chris. Do you know what time it is? <laughs> Oh, what? oh, the little spray? What is that? This is that spray stuff. So it's this is butter spray? Yeah. Gotta show the people what they want. This is a butter spray. There's no calories in this, so you know, you just load it up. Pepper. Pepper, salt. Oh, garlic and herbs. Salt free. Salt I usually free. go no salt with potatoes. You can salt yours afterwards if you want, but. Okay. A little time? Is it full in time? Mix here. Hey, yo, how you doing? Hey, la 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 so usually Chris only fills up a dose of these, and we got another dose. So that fill, makes I don't fill them up that high. That either. makes that makes Faust. Dose plus dose equals Faust. I actually only usually do two baking sheets. Oh not really? Even, There's a lot of potatoes. Uh, I'm pretty sure we got ten bags. Yeah, that's thirty pounds. That's, uh, and and three <laughs> three pounds a bag, thirty pounds. So that's a lot of shred potatoes. So you know if you want to take your 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 prep game up, check out Chris. Does anybody want to, uh, what, the <laughs> spray? Mm -hmm. No calories, yo, what up? Yeah, get, I like to get the seasoning out over there, like that. I sprinkle the seasoning up. Okay, so now this is all done. 
I'm gonna pop these in the oven. What's this take, like an hour or more? It's gotta take at least it two hours. Yeah. We're almost done. There's some big breasts out there, so. Um, Chris baked some of his chicken because he wants to go a little bit different flavor profile. But some baked chicken. We got all the shrap potatoes in the oven. He just cooked up his pasta. His pasta's done. And then he's gonna tell us what the, the next thing. Because I don't know. Chris, what's the next freaking thing, man? He's got the meat. Yeah, what'd you know about this, Arby's? Chris got Chris Chris got meat. Cut that rest for about two hours. That just like that? Do you put any tinfoil over it or anything? Just kind of let right, you kind of let let it sit there. Yeah. It's okay. That's fine. That I mean, this, I hate when like things don't look the size they're supposed to on the camera because this thing is this is a massive trough. <laughs> but yeah. chicken, sweet potatoes, spaghetti. I'm assuming the vegetables are next, Chris. Yeah. What are you doing, Chris? Cutting some onions? Chris said he uses onions for every dish. I love onions. I love the onions, especially the Spanish onions, because my mother, she's yeah, from, uh, she's a, she is a Spaniard. Um, so he's cutting the onions, and, and then what are you doing with these onions, Chris? Um, what am I doing with the onions? Saute them? These onions, I'm just gonna saute with the peppers. And they just go in the fridge like that for my eggs in the morning. Oh, gotcha. Right, right, right. Okay. Okay. So, I didn't even show my face yet. Probably First, gonna be the best video yet. <laughs> get the most views. Oh, uh, Chris got onions, peppers, mushrooms. What else do you get? Vegetables. Kale. Spinach. Spinach. I don't have enough fingers. Uh, tomatoes. What else? Oh, uh, uh, string beans for his vegetables. I'll throw some of these. So we're gonna show you. I don't know what he's doing, but we're gonna. Just, he's gonna plan those out for, for his meals. We're sauteing all that, right? Basically. Yeah. Okay. So we're sauteing all that up. To show you what it looks like after. But I got spaghetti squash, which is gonna be like a little bit more carbohydrates, just in case. Um, I gotta figure out all that because I don't have any carbs in that stuff. But some sort of spaghetti squash and chicken like, kind of mixture. I got collard greens, kale, string beans. I got some onions and mushrooms. So I'm gonna saute, we're gonna saute it all up. I'll show you some clips of him cutting in it and everything like that. But um, basically, you'll, oh, Chris, you gonna cry? Are you sad? Um, but yeah, we'll cut all that up, prep it all, and then I'll show you it. How we, how we, how we plan it per meal, basically. Oh, it burns so bad. It burns so bad. I'm gonna help Chris cut these onions, but uh, yeah, we have we've been fasting since the cheat meal. So we, the last time we ate was 8 p.m. and we're drinking. And we're drinking Cervasis cooking because. Okay, you only live once, right? Don't worry, you're gonna put this in our fitness pal. Anyways, that's it. That's all I got. I feel fucked up on this on the second beer. <laughs> and uh yeah, holy crap guys, okay. It's only only eight servings. Okay, that's a lot. Eight how many cans is that? Two? Um, no, um, he's not making hummus. It's four cups. Four cups. So he's making a sauce for his uh you gotta add water to that thing, Chief. Anyways, uh he's better shut the fuck up. Oh it's awesome. Yeah, that worked really that. good. That worked really good. Um, he's making a sauce to put his spaghetti on or over. So chickpeas, what else are you putting in there? Huh, Chris? Couple seasonings. So Chris sautéed up tomatoes, peppers, red peppers. No. Oh, it's red onions. Red onions. Red so onions. that's what I meant to say. Tomatoes. It's the cerveza. Red onions and tomatoes. And then he's gonna make a sauce out of it. No olive oil. Or anything added to that. Just it's natural juice. That looks fun. I mean that's kinda nice. He's basically making hummus. What? <laughs> yeah, you ever have a you ever add a hummus spaghetti sauce? My grandmama, you make it like that. Oh my god, who who thought you could make a nice sauce? Out of some hummus. I mean out of some chickpeas, tomatoes, and onions. Yeah, we could package that up and call it a uh, uh, 
<laughs> salsa de gains. La salsa de gains. I mean, this looks like that hummus that you buy at the store. I thought that's not okay. So, it's basically hummus. It's red. Yeah, you can buy the hummus with peppers in it. Anyways. There's no peppers in it. Whatever, Chris. Uh, we got all these onions. Yeah, I'm gonna smell like shit all week. <laughs> all these onions. Um, all these onions are sweating, sauteing, whatever you want to call it. And I got some collard greens. I don't really like know how to cook collard greens, but you know, someone can comment down below. But I'm just gonna steam them like they're like like it's kale or spinach. But that's gonna be like one side of a dish. Jennifer's gonna hate that. She's gonna complain already. But I'm not even gonna tell her what it is. I'm gonna say it's spinach. I'm gonna say, yeah, it's spinach. Special spinach. But I got that going, that going. Sweet potatoes are getting slightly crusty. Got the spaghetti squash in there. We're about to, we're almost there. We're almost ready, guys. We're almost ready. Like, like I mentioned in the full day of eating video, if you ain't measuring, if you ain't measuring, if you ain't weighing, if you ain't tracking, you're already, you're already going downhill, so. Look at this guy. Yeah, I got the freaking Tony. I got it at 11.2 ounces of this. I gotta get a three quarter cup of this. Yep. So Chris is weighing, tracking, measuring what he's got per serving. He's gonna mix it up, contain it. Boom, done. Is that just a meal just like that or you add chicken to it? I add chicken to it. I add a chicken to it. We'll show you the final product, guys. Don't worry. But we, uh, we out here. Good, we got both oh, kind of looks nice. I mean, I ain't gonna lie to you, Chris. That looks pretty freaking good. I made extra sauce, so. I make it, I make it, that's a lot. That's a big meal. That's my last meal of the day, so. 100. That's your, oh, that's dinner? Yeah. Oh, so okay. Pounds. Yeah, that's post workout. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at this. Look at this guy, Chef Boy D over here. Spaghetti, custom sauce, chicken. Oh, look at this. Precise measurements. We don't around here. Fuck around right here. Oh. Oh. Awesome. So what do you got? What is that? That's six and a quarter. Six ounces. <laughs> so six ounces of chicken though. Yep. 130 carbs. 130 carbs. I still have to add. And that's whatever that sauce is, which is only like 20 grams of carbs or something like that? Well, 130 yeah. carbs including the sauce. So it's 130 carbs total, six ounces of chicken, which is like 30 grams of protein per meal. This is his din din. So we did din. This is his din din. This is his din din. But we're gonna eat some of this after, right? So we're gonna yeah. we're gonna taste test this on live. So dinner is getting prepped. I still have to add vegetables and fat. But. Ah, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot to do, guys. But you know it's worth it in the end. Worth it. It's worth you it. You look as good as this guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. So. Chicken's all cooked. Chris got some meals already prepped up. I got my collard greens in here because I'm gonna have to go home. I didn't bring enough containers with me, so I'm gonna have to package all this up later. But collard greens cooked. I'm onto kale, and I just added some of the uh, sauteed onions to this. So saute this up, package this up. What are you making next, buddy? String, string beans. beans. I love string like beans. String beans. My mom said if I eat string beans, that I'll be strong. So. Yeah, hopefully it'll be stronger than Rob, but probably not because of <laughs> What? It's okay, quack. Quack. <gasps> ah, uh, three o'clock, not four o'clock, but seriously. First, first meal of the day, besides these uh, cervezas. But, yeah, we're gonna see if this pasta sauce lives up to the hype. Oh, it tastes like shit. Ain't bad. Pretty good. Ain't bad, how you doing? How you doing? I have a very familiar taste. I taste like pizza. I think the word you're looking for, Chris, is hummus. No, it tastes like pizza. It looks like hummus. Just looking at it. I feel like a pizza. Oh. That's nice. That's nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Gonna eat this and show you the rest. We're moving, we're moving, we're moving. So far, we've been prepping for three hours. It ain't no big deal. If you wanna look good, like this good, you gotta put in the work. I don't know about you guys, but three surfaces on an empty stomach, holy shit. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, oh no, Chris, don't you know that you can't put hot stuff on cold stuff, buddy? I thought like tempered stuff doesn't do that. Yeah, well, you know, I'm Those pretty sure it does. Hot. 
I felt the heat through my hands on my on where the gloves. You're gonna try to save some of that? Yeah. yeah. That's sketchy. It's okay. I mean, if you're chewing a potato and it feels a little sharp, you spit it out. All right, you're gonna. You're definitely taking all that stuff because I ain't fucking fucking yeah, around with like that shit. Something. It's bad. Pick those up. Um, guys, just you know, don't do this at home. Huh? Rating of one through ten. How dangerous is this? This kid's taking the potatoes off the broken glass, putting it. I gotta save some of them. Yo, it's all about that health and nutrition. I don't wanna be wasteful. It's like this is a meal for someone out there somewhere, so. Yeah. We're doing pretty good though. Got most of uh, the vegetables done. Straight potatoes, gonna have to keep those in there, let them cool off a little bit. But uh, what else are you cooking? Um, Chris got his five meals of sweet potatoes, which you saw in the full day of eating. Five meals of string beans. Look at all those string beans. And we you just put six ounces or thirty grams of chicken protein on top of these. Yeah. Right? I'm adding six potatoes to these two. To these two? Yeah. It's not as much, right? Not as much. Okay. So he's got each meal how many carbs? That's seventy five. Seventy five, these are gonna have what? Thirty. Thirty ish. Thirty grams of protein, thirty grams of carbs, seventy grams of carbs, thirty grams of protein. I'm over yonder. Uh, steaming up my string beans. I got my spaghetti squashes that are resting so they're not ripping hot when I try to peel them apart. But uh, yeah, they're still ripping hot. So I'll show you what that looks like when it's shredded. But basically, it makes, it makes a nice spaghetti. It makes a little bit of uh, spaghetti sauce. But that's a little update. No glass on the ground. <laughs> Thank God. Yeah, I meal prep pretty hard. And you know, sometimes there's gonna be casualties. You know, when it's all said and done. <laughs> <laughs> Looks pretty good. You know, boom, 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 how you doing? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yep. And this is how I do it. This is how I look really good in the mirror, naked. <laughs> I go, yup, this is what I gotta do. So, you know, if you're a guy, you're a gal, you work, you need some meals prepped, you just boom, 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 how you doing? How you doing? And then you weigh, track, measure, repeat. And it's just nutritious, and then you know, next thing you know, you look like a Greek god or goddess. You look like a fucking goddess. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's Chris's meals. That was a chicken meal. Two chicken meals right there, screw potatoes, string beans. Spaghetti meal, what else do you have? You got a breakfast meal. Yep. And what else? That's four. And then my workout meal. I'm only doing five. Oh, right, and the workout meal. The liquid carbs and protein, boom. Sure. Done. What we got here is Chris's uh, first meal of the day, which is just shrap potatoes and some sauteed onions, and he adds 10 egg whites to this dish in the morning. Boom, boom, how you doing? It only takes five minutes. And an entire bag of spinach. An entire bag of spinach? Yeah. Holy crap. Are you cooking the spinach right now? Yeah. Wow, that's nice. So, you know. You wanna get your vegetables in? You get your brotons, you get your cup of roses, you get your fucking vegetables, your you're freaking, you're freaking micronutrients. Man, it's a whole freaking package. That is nice. You know? 10 egg whites plus that, that's great. I only do 10 egg whites plain with half a cup of oatmeal. Yeah, I love pickles. Pickles are good. So, we're all done. Got my food packed up. And that's it. Boys day. Sundays for the boys, 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 boys. This is why my uh, cheat day video, or the cheat day video got delayed, because you know, it'll probably come up one Monday, so it'll be Tuesday. <laughs> Remember, ready? Good morning, it's the next day. I didn't finish my food prep from Sunday, so I'm gonna show you what breakfast, breakfast looks like because it's breakfast time. Uh, I got my Tasty Treat shirt on. I'm getting the new updated Tasty Treat shirts today, so maybe if I have time, I'll put it in the end of the video, or make sure you follow me at Instagram or on Snapchat, because I'll put that on there as well. But shirts are coming in, that means I can order them, finally. But, breakfast time. We don't pre-prep our breakfast, because that's gross and weird if you like pre-prep your eggs, because then they get like watery. And, ugh, it's disgusting. So, uh, all it is for me is uh, egg whites, a little bit of salsa, and uh, quick oats. Jennifer is gonna be, what did I make you yesterday? Uh, eggs and squash. 
eggs and squash. So I'm gonna prep this up, show you what it looks like, and then I'm gonna uh, prepackage um, all the other meals. I got some more uh, containers, so I'll do that after breakfast. But let's see what breakfast looks like. Like I mentioned, or maybe you have, you don't know, but Jennifer, Christopher, and I, well I used to do Renaissance periodization, but when you get Renaissance periodization, you get these templates, right? It's all broken down per meal, per protein, per carb, per fat, and it's broken down if you uh, train in the morning, uh, middle of the day, afternoon, or night. So uh, the calories and the breakdown of the, of the macros will change depending on what time you work out. So. Uh, Jennifer's first meal is two ounces of lean protein, which equals four egg whites, which I have in the pan, and one handful of small, or one handful, or one, one small handful of greens, and that's it, no fat added at all. So, what I got here is four egg whites, no fat added, cooking it in this uh, butter spray, no calories, no fat in that either. I'm gonna flip this, or you know, flip it, scramble it, whatever. Oh, just go for a flip. And then I'm gonna give her a handful of greens. Even though she doesn't like to eat it. I don't like You have to eat your greens. What are you putting in there? Shh, okay. No, because I won't eat it's it. It's okay, baby girl, I got you. Jennifer's got four egg whites, a little bit of spinach, and just a little drizzle of the sriracha. And that's her meal one, basically all this week, pretty much. So, I'm cooking up myself some spinach, and I'm gonna add 10 egg whites to that. And then, I need to cook, or microwave up, one cup of quick oats. Okay, and here's my breakfast. So, 10 egg whites, basically two cups of spinach, and then one cup of quick oats with only cinnamon added. So that's my standard breakfast pretty much every single morning. But, uh, I need to go, don't put that, no, 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 don't put that in there. That's my breakfast every morning, but I need to go to the gym, coach, and then come back, and then we'll prep all the food. So yeah. The kitchen's a little bit of a mess right now, but, what I got here is two, four, six, eight dishes of my meals. This is five ounces of chicken, 10 ounces of sweet potato, and then about like a cup and a half of string beans with some onions. So this is gonna cover some meals during the day. And then the same thing for Jennifer, just a little bit smaller. So hers is uh, two ounces of chicken, of string beans, and uh, three ounces of sweet potatoes. So it's like two ounces of meat, and 25 grams of carbs. So I got a few of those lined up. I'm gonna package these up, and then, uh, actually I ran out of sweet potatoes, uh, funny enough, because I thought we were gonna have way too many, but that's a note for next weekend to buy more sweet potatoes. So I still have some chicken. I still have in the fridge that's not cooked up, uh, two packs of this 85% lean ground turkey and uh, chicken patties, basically. So I can still cook that for dinner. I still have uncooked zucchini, mushrooms. Uh, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. I still have those two tubs of, oh, I'll show you. I still have two tubs of collard greens and kale, and then I have two containers of that uh, spaghetti squash. So that's all stuff I can add to, like my eggs, uh, I could cook up for dinner, but these meals on the counter are basically the in-between meals. Um, so you saw my breakfast, which is just eggs and oatmeal. Then I'll probably have uh, this sweet potato chicken dish. I'll have a protein shake, and then I'll have a really big dinner. Probably white rice, which I need to cook up. Um, some of that ground turkey, a bunch of vegetables. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's basically the food prep. You guys want to take your food prep a little more serious, this is what you do. I got these containers, um, I'll put them in the description below. Um, these square containers, this is a perfect, for, perfect for Jennifer's size, so any ladies out there with the smaller portions, use these. Uh, these are a lot bigger, but um, yeah. That's basically how you food prep, guys. I think this video is really, really long. 
think we're like 30 minutes, so. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it for the food prep video. All the meals are prepped out. Obviously, the more uh, busy your schedule is, the more you're gonna have to prep those meals, put them into the containers, use that six pack bag, I'll link it down below. Um, if you're more flexible like me, you can prep some meals, and then some meals you can cook, like the breakfast and the dinner on your spare time. But uh, yeah, if you wanna take your diet more serious, you wanna take your performance more serious, you gotta prep, and you have to weigh, track, and measure. Like, I just used the scale for everything just now. Uh, I used a measuring cup for all the string beans, but uh, yeah, weigh, tr weigh, track, measure, repeat, and you will hit your goals a lot faster than you think. Uh, but yeah, that's it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below any questions, or if you just want to comment down below something like, I don't know. Yesterday, guys, in the cheat day video, everyone did great with the comments. I think we got like 300 comments, so that was awesome. Um, I have something special for this upcoming weekend, so you're gonna have to stay tuned for that. Um, oh, the Tasty Treat shirts. I'm getting the new mock-ups today, so I'll show you that tomorrow in my weight loss part three video. And yeah, that's it. That's all I got for you. Thanks for watching, comment, like, subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow.